Hi, uh, it's Luke and I'm Aaron. And today we're going to be installing a small fast escape uh, in the sand pit just behind us to show how simple and easy it can be done. So have you done this before, Amara? No. Have you done anything like this before? No. Are you looking forward to it? I think so. It'll be an experience. Dig the basin in. Um, the urn just sits on top of the basin with the piping running through the centre into the deco basin, which will also store the pump. And then it just recycles, so the water that comes off the urn will be caught through the splash curtain, run back into the basin and just recycle. So it's nice and easy, low maintenance, win-win um, all round, really. Yeah, so for me, in an area where we can get all the way around everything, I try to maximise the space, so I try to put it sort of quite centrally. I'm nervous. It's just... Um, Awkward? Weird? I guess so, yeah. But... Are you OK? You're happy on camera? Yeah. Just forget us, we're here. Yeah. What about you, Luke? Uh, you nervous because you're teaching? You know, how many times have you taught somebody how to put in a... Once before, and you've, you've but you but you know what to do, so yeah, yeah. Obviously, done it myself a few times, um, but yeah, actually instructing someone a bit different. Obviously. So this is a world a world first. So you know, if it's awkward, then it, you know that's why it's awkward. Just explaining to someone watching, it might be like, why are they awkward? <laughs> it's just the situation. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just a bit a uh, bit different being on camera doing it. Exactly. Mark around the basin uh, where we're going to be. Yeah, yeah, just to, just to sort of show yourself where the area you're going to be digging. Uh, yeah, just like that, yeah. And it's always better to slightly over dig it than um, the dig it because you can always back a bit after. Yep, perfect. So now I could just remove the basin, and obviously you can start to dig that area then. And um, obviously, just sort of bear in mind the depth for the um, the basin, how far it will dig. So, a good way to. How to dig. So, you want the basin, the, the you see the lip on. Right, so that. There, yeah, so okay. you pretty much want that all over the ground. challenging thing was probably digging the hole, um, took a bit longer than I thought it would, and trying to level it out, um, having to keep going back and forth, but that's the most important part for your feature to stand straight, so it was worth it. You had your wheaty bits this morning? Me? No, I actually haven't. <laughs> um, yeah, just try not to stand too big. Yeah, so I won't fall then. Maybe you will fall in or the whole, the whole year of food. <laughs> so it can be a problem if there's air underneath. Um, the, the problem is once the, the pump's obviously sitting in the basin, if there's air underneath, you can hear the vibration of the pump echoing underneath. Um, and obviously it can allow movement for the basin once it's filled up with water, um, which you don't want either. So we always try to make sure that there's, there's no air or any air pockets around the basin. Looks good. So if we get there, then we'll just go and check. There is check it both ways, so put it across one way. Just it come in one way. Yeah. So you can see that that side is slightly higher than this side. Yeah. You, want, you want the bubble within the lines, so obviously we can have a bit of play to sort of get it where it needs to be, as not when it is sort of touching the bottom. So what I'd probably say to do is backfill with a little bit of sand on top, obviously because we have we would, yeah, we sort of want to bring it up a little bit anyway. Um, and then it'll probably help to, what, to actually I be met as well. Sand all over the bottom? Yeah, just all up, just loose. Um, yeah. So then you can sort of manipulate where the sand is with 
If I can yeah. just bites. so I can just grab some and just yeah, and then my yeah. caramel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so you can use you can use the the shovel if it's easier. Oh yeah, it's a bit more, a bit higher. Yeah, so I'll just sort of move that across. So yeah, obviously as you can see, this is the, the small stack slate urn. Um, it was it's easy to install. Uh, even you know at Amara, it was her first time installing anything of, of this of a water feature type. Um, and yeah, she done it in, in in a few hours. So it's nice and easy. The actual urn itself is nice and lightweight. Obviously, again, it comes in three pieces, so it's even easier to carry. Um, but yeah, it's it's nice and easy. Anyone can do it. So yeah. Because we'll get the pumps and everything. We'll set up in there as well and splash kettle on, and then we'll get the urn and uh, and set that its base as well. Yep. Just slots in. Uh, you don't really need the uh, the food store. It should just sit on top and really. it sort of clips in around this. In this install, we're going to be threading the, the cable for the pump actually through this main hole. You could, in theory, put a new plug on onto the pump and, and thread it through here and attach a new plug. Um, but obviously, yeah, it doesn't fit through with the plug on, so we're just going to run it through here instead. Um, so, yeah, if we place that lid on, how that landers up with the lift on it. Yeah. So if we push that all the way around, nice and tight, and then that just goes over the lid of both of them, <laughs> like that. And then if it tightens this up, it should sort of clip all the the way. We'll just place it open there when they're in the box in what we're doing. So we'll set up the um, the urn, Bing. put that into place, and then what we can do is Bing. feed the pipe through the urn and attach this onto the pump. And then it's a case of filling the basin and obviously air up and sort of decoration and stuff round there. Yep. Yeah, that's it. Sort of spread it round like that. The so screeding. Over here a little bit. And yeah, you just run it round, a bit like that. Going into the build, I was quite nervous. Never done anything like that before. Um, but it turned out well. I was quite proud of myself because I've never done anything like that before. Um, yeah, I thought it I thought it looked good. And I didn't think I could do something like that. But I was proud of myself. So yeah, from here, um, obviously the pump got inside the basin um, with the, the pipe attached to the pump. We then piece the the urn together, it's actually three separate pieces um, that just sort of slot in and then twist to, to lock them in place. Um, so we put that together, connect the other end of the pipe that's attached to the pump to the, the top part of the urn. And then once that's, go, once that's ready, um, you can start filling the basin with water, get the water running, make sure that the connection's all okay. And from there, it's just a case of sort of decorating and landscaping the area. Um, so we put in some, some gravel and cobble, just to sort of disguise the, the basin and make it look nice and natural. Um, we put in a few landscaping stones and plants just to sort of soften the area as well. Um, yeah, it turned out really good. The shivers actually coming really handy. Just want to lift this side up slightly. Yeah, so you can even move. What I tend to do is actually move. Yeah. Leave it on there, the sort of tilt it to his levy. Not bad, it? So, yeah, good. Yeah. So, where's so, that? So. Under the. Uh. Yeah, so it should be. Let's switch it on. Mm. 
rabbit. Yeah. <laughs> Red every rabbit, every cartoon. <laughs> a lot easier than I thought. Um, I definitely recommend buying the kit from us if you're thinking of having a little DIY. Um, I mean, if I can do it, I feel like anyone else can do it. Challenge yourself and right, it'll it turn out yeah. better than you. Just sort of spread it. Just, uh, yeah, spread it around the base with the... Um, with the uh, it's now like cool. Yeah, yeah, literally do it to pour it and then you can sort of spread it around. Uh, yeah, so for me personally, it was, it's a bit um, different teaching. You know, it's quite hard not to get hands on in there. Um, but Amara did a, an excellent job. I know beforehand she was a bit nervous um, about, you know, how long it was going to take and and what was involved, but um, yeah, she did a great job. I think she did it in in a decent time, and it was good to see that she was very happy with, with what she produced, and I think straight away she phoned her dad and, and showed him some photos, so that's always good to see, and yeah, just how proud she was of what she achieved. Adding the plants and stuff just makes it look more natural, like it was already there. Um, the plants definitely made a massive difference. If the plants weren't there, I, I feel like it would look a bit plain. Um, so if you are building this, I'd definitely add your favourite plants. It definitely makes all the difference.